every once in a while, every once in a while, you just gotta do something for the fun of it. <laughs> All right, well, it was fun for me. <laughs> Put it that way, It'd be fun for me. Now, I don't know about the other participants here, but definitely fun for me. So I'm gonna go do an anthill today. Um, I realize that is not metal casting really per se. I mean, it's gonna, we're gonna do metal casting, but uh, there's none of the techno, none of the techno babble I always talk about, you know that stuff. It's just pure unadulterated pouring metal down a hole. <laughs> and so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, it's been really dry here this year, so the ants have done remarkably well <laughs> for themselves. And they have built a fairly decent hole right outside of our barn door that my wife has been asking me to deal with for some time. And I thought, well, what better way to deal with it? <laughs> so we're going to go out and we're going to go out. I'm going to haul everything out there and cast it. I'm probably not going to talk till the very end again because there's not a whole lot for me to talk about. Let's see if I can find some cool music or something to listen to while we're, while we're showing this. So I'll see you outside.
there you go. Are you ready for the big reveal? Hmm? You ready for the big reveal? It's pretty cool. I got to tell you, it is pretty darn cool looking. Uh, you saw at the end there that at the end of the pour, the metal started kind of running out over the ground, and I thought I was done. And when I, I walked away with the crucible and I looked back and I saw it go like it sucked down inside the hole. So I should have stood there. I should have kept pouring. Uh, maybe I should have been ready to pour again because we had, um, I'll show you on the casting here, but we had some really thin stuff. You saw it when I was washing it off. Parts on the top were kind of fl flimsy and they fell off and broke off. Um, as a result of that, just it sucked it down and all I had left was a kind of a shell of a tube, I think, for, for how it poured. But let me take you down to the uh, bench here and I'll show you what it looks like. Sort of the uh, direction it was poured in. This is where the metal came in. Let's put it up here. This is where the metal came in right here. And it is sort of a hollow tube. Uh, not much left of it where it broke off. I find it remarkable to look at these things. Look at the, I mean, look at the layers. And it's, they're almost all parallel, which is just crazy to me that they're not just random places in there. They're, they're kind of like layers of this thing. Um, I think if we had a, if we had to finish the pour, we would have had a little bit more on top. But as it is, I think it came out pretty darn cool. There it is. And uh, look at the bottom side of it. It's cool to me as you can tell, even though the metal came in here, or wherever here, even though the metal came in here, and this is sort of the high spot, it, it came, it would go down, it would come up, it would go down again. Uh, it filled all these layers, just, uh, uh, I don't know, an amazing, <laughs> it's an amazing structure if you ask me. Just truly amazing. Oh, there you go. It is a remarkable, it's a remarkable structure. This thing weighs in at just shy of two pounds or about uh, one kilo, but I think it was 890 grams or something like that. Uh, pretty, pretty close to that. It's pretty cool. I just, I, I can't get over the, I can't get over the structure. So that's it. Hope you had a great day. Now, wait, hope you have a great day. You had a great way, but have one too.